Welcome vampires to the official Zap hosting YouTube channel, my name is Sally and today I will show you how you can set up a dedicated vRising server on your Windows VPS, so let's get started. First, as always, visit our website zap-hosting.com and login into your Zap account. If you don't have an account yet, you can register here for free. I will now show you how you can get your own Windows VPS. Feel free to skip this video to the provided timestamp if you own one already. Navigate to the Virtual Root Server tab, click on VPS Hosting and click on Windows VPS. Here you can configure your own server to your liking, like server location, RAM, CPU cores, disk space and much more. Finally, select the payment method and confirm your order. But before you do that, here is a little gift from us, 50% off voucher code which you can use by clicking here on use voucher and typing VPS-rising. After confirming your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now click on show product and turn on your VPS by pressing the green start button which can be found right here. Once your server is online, navigate to the Access and Security tab. Here you will need to create an administrator password to connect to your machine using the remote desktop app. Once you create the password, click on Save. Now open the remote desktop app on your computer. Click on Show Options. In the Computer tab, copy and paste the IP to your server, which you can find in your Zap interface. The username will always be administrator by default. Now click Connect and type the password which is the one you defined earlier and click on OK. You have now successfully connected to your Windows VPS using the remote desktop app. Now create a new folder on your desktop and name it however you like. For this video, I will name the folder vRising. Now open Google Chrome on the machine and paste the following link in the search bar and press enter. It will automatically download Steam CMD which is needed to set up a vRising server. The downloaded file can be found in the download folder. Copy the Steam CMD file and paste it into the folder you just created earlier. Now right click the file and click on extract all. Then extract. Now launch Steam CMD. A new window should open with the installation process. Wait for it to finish. Once the installation is completed, paste in the following command that can be found in the video description, but make sure to specify the name of the folder you created earlier and press enter. Now type the following command login anonymous and press enter. When you see the line saying waiting for user info, paste in the following command which can be found also in the video description and press enter. It will now start the installation of vRising server files, which can take a few minutes to download, so please be patient. Now find the file named Start Server Example, right click on it, open it with a notepad plus plus and feel free to change the name of the server. For example, I will call it Ellie Test. Save it and close the window. You can also make changes in the configuration files. You can find them by going to the vRising server data folder, streaming assets, then settings. Here you can open those files with Notepad++ and make changes like creating a password for the server. The last step to do in order to start the vRising server is unlocking ports in the firewall. Open the search bar, search for Windows Defendant Firewall with Advanced Security and click on it. Navigate to Inbound Rules, click on New Rule, click on Port and then Next. Here make sure TCP is selected and write the exact number as me. 9876 and click on next. Make sure allow the connection is selected. Here all the boxes must be checked. In this field create whatever name you like and click on finish. Now click on new rule again, select port then next. Here make sure TCP is selected and write exact number as me 9877 and click on next. Make sure allow the connection is selected. Here all the boxes must be checked. In this field create whatever name you like and click on finish. You will now need to repeat the same process, but this time change it from TCP to UDP. Once you finish unlocking the ports, feel free to close this window and go back to the directory of your vRising server files and double click on Start Server Example. The server is now starting, wait a couple of minutes for it to fully load. In the meantime, launch vRising on your PC. Click on Play, then Online Play, here find the tab called Find Servers and click on it. Now click on Display all servers and settings. You can now search for your server in the search box which can be found in the upper left. Select your server and click on Join Game. 
If you don't see your server in the list, you can also connect by clicking right here on Direct Connect and pasting a server IP. Navigate back to your Zap interface, copy your server IP, go back into the game, paste the server IP right here and click on Connect. As you can see, you have now successfully connected to your own vRising server hosted on your Windows VPS. That's it for today. If you have any questions, you can contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and they will be more than happy to help you out. Now have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your new Zap server.